Well, almost a year ago, the hype train was running in regards to Ghost from the Past 2. Folks were losing their minds, saying this was the greatest product and the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! modern product to ever hit shelves. The card list and checklist was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Cyber Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, the list continues on and on, and the hype was real for this set. Even though it has really plateaued, let's take a look on this video at the PSA population reports and really delve in to see how cards are doing. We know the raw value of these cards, but did you know that there are very, very, very intriguing surprises if you are to delve into this population report, especially with what some would say, and I would say most would say, the king of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Blue Eyes White Dragon himself. Stay tuned. This is going to be an interesting one. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh Tube. What's up YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here, and let's look now at the PSA population reports. For those who don't know what the PSA population reports are, it basically is PSA's log or public log and information of how many 10s are out there, 9s are out there, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1s, all the way down, down here to 1s, okay? 1 to 10. Right now, for Ghosts from the Past 2, Second Haunting, we have 722 cards graded. Again, 722 cards so far graded in under a year, so that's quite a bit of cards. And as you look at the population reports here, let's go down the list. Almost everything is, um, is Ghost Rares, okay? So let's look at Ghost Rares step by step. Dark Magician Girl, the German, three of those are graded. We don't really care about them. I'm sorry, nothing against German cards, but we're looking at North American. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, nobody, why I don't, I don't know why people are grading this. Two of them came back nines out of two total. Now, here is the moment, I would say, of the video. Blue Eyes White Dragon. First edition, Ghost Rare, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. There have been 118 cards graded. How many of them were tens? Zero. Out of 118 Blue Eyes, White Dragon cards graded, let me repeat that, none of them have come back a PSA 10 gem mint. Holy moly. These are modern 2022 era cards. You're not supposed to see these kinds of ratios or lack of these any sort of ratios, right? 118 cards graded, zero of them were 10. Out of the 118, ironically, 79 of them were PSA 9s. That is a large percent. You know, you're talking about a 65, 70% odds that you're going to get a 9. If you send in a Blue Eyes White Dragon, we could actually just take the odds right now. 79 divided by 118, um, 67%, okay, 66.9%. Um, that is your odds of getting a Blue Eyes White Dragon coming back a 9. 67% is pretty good. Um, I would say that's quite good. What's not quite good is that none of them are tens. And you might be asking yourself, why? Why in God's name are none of these ten? Well, let's look at the uh, listings on eBay. So just looking at some ghosts from the past listings, you know, one of the first results I see, Ghost Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon, and, of course, what do you see here? Factory Damage C picks. You might be saying, well, Factory Damage, it looks great. Look at these pictures, right? It looks phenomenal and fantastic. All fantastic, right? Look at those, look at those corners. Wonderful. Uh, here's an issue. Okay, there you could see right in the center of that Blue Eyes White Dragon, a lot of scratching. 
one horizontal going right down that middle and then you see almost some sort of debris going up and down or vertically from the top of the picture box down to that horizontal scratch so again there are some scratching issues with blue eyes white dragon when you see one with these kinds of issues there's a good chance that it was in the entire press right so these the whole press or the printing of of these blue eyes white dragons there's a good chance that at least more of them or some more of them have some sort of similar issues that's just how cards are printed now if you go to another listing here's a near mint auction um you know you look at it here right and you could see a horizontal line kind of going by the blue eyes white dragon eye does everyone see where the eye of the blue eyes white dragon is you look left of that area you see that horizontal line that's just one line that we're seeing here from one shot you don't see it here in the second shot and you don't really even see it here on the third shot but if you keep looking look at this my goodness look at this um there's these white specks white dots whatever you want to call them they are on the card it's not like some sort of dust or debris that you kind of can wipe off this is just surface imperfections straight from the factory and that's why it's being advertised as near mint i would very very likely say i, I don't have no uh, you know I, I can't say this one with any certainty but I would say with most likelihood is that most of the nines out there have some sort of surface blemish similar to this, similar to the horizontal lines, the horizontal surface scratches or vertical scratches nonetheless. Um, these little white dots, you also see these a lot on the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in addition to other ghost rares as well. But nonetheless, see these, these dots on the right side? Um, these dots are pretty common. And actually, look at the back of that card pretty poor as well now look at the surface on that back see all that smudging on the top edge going up towards the konami logo where the light is off the reflection of the light you could really see a lot of surface uh, gunk i guess you could say and as a result that's why you're seeing this disproportionate uh, amount of you know nines and tens or lack of any tens um typically with psa they'll give you a nine if it's just a minor surface blemish and everything else corners edges and the centering are fine but to get a 10 is almost almost impossible and as you could see here uh blue eyes is the main culprit zero tens at 118 graded that's insane red eyes black dragon 16 tens out of 93 53 of them are nines that's a pretty good ratio and it's some eights there 21 as well and dark magician girl by far the most submitted card at 307 307 dark magician girls were submitted out of those 307 42 tens it's not too bad it's over 10 percent it's not that horrible still for modern sets you'd say 10 percent tens that's pretty crazy because keep in mind here folks that everyone submitting these cards are submitting them at higher service levels meaning what does that mean they're submitting them at a higher declared value and they're submitting them at a faster service so that as you can see they're already graded psa has been backlogged for ages the fact that all of these cards are already graded these 700 and whatnot cards are already graded means that people went and expedited the, the service they said i want this back and graded quickly you know this set's only not even a year old so because the backlog guarantees us that they submitted at a higher service level as a result these are cards in which people paid a lot of good money to get them slabbed and to get them sent back to them and graded quickly so you'd think that these cards are the cream of the crop or the creme brulee of the cards out there you'd think someone's not going to go waste money on a card if it's going to get an eight to try and submit it to psa you'd think most of these cards submitted so far are psa 10 quality obviously you're seeing for dark magician girl about 10, a little over 10 percent for the red eyes black dragon same story there as well cyber dragon 10 out of 45 got tens which is spectacular you know it's an over 20 percent clip 29 of them out of 45 uh, got nines most of them there so cyber dragon looks pretty strong so far dark arm dragon 7 of 26 got about 25 percent as well pretty good 15 of them nines four out of 26 wing dragon of raw sphere modes which you're at about 15 percent 10 rate um and again 17 nines that's good 
5 out of 52 Blue Eyes Ultimate. That is not good. That is uh, just, just under 10%. So again, that's not great, just under 10% on that. And again, Blue Eyes White Dragon has those black specs sometimes on the actual card, which is very bizarre. Um, and then the Red uh, Dragon Archfiend, 13 to 33. That's spectacular. It's almost a 40% PSA 10 odds or ratio, I guess you could say. And the Eye of Timaeus, um, yeah, 8 out of 14, spec absolutely spectacular. Small sample size, but more than half that got submitted got 10s, which is crazy. So it's absolutely wild to see that the hardest cards to hit, right? The hardest cards to hit um, or to get 10s are the blue eyes by far because there are no 10s. Over 118 of them graded. Red eyes, not easy. Dark Magician Girl, not an easy one there either. And uh, the Wing Dragon of, of Ross Sphere Mode actually is a little bit difficult. And of course, the blue eyes Ultimate Dragon. That's a tough one there as well. So unfortunately, a lot of those nostalgic cards... Um, have really tough PSA 10 rates. And what does this mean for Ghosts from the Past too? You ask yourself and just think about it. Well, if it's hard to get a PSA 10, uh, what does that mean to the single cards in PSA 10? They're going to demand a big-time premium. The first Blue Eyes White Dragon in PSA 10 could very well hit an outstanding amount of money. I'm talking 5,000, 6,000, 10,000. I would not be shocked if it hits between five and 10,000. For a first edition Ghost Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon PSA 10, it would not shock me one bit if that's a five to ten thousand dollar card, without without a doubt. I, I would I would actually expect it to be between five and ten thousand dollars. What do you guys think? Until next time, hope you all enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! 2. Great set to analyze. When it comes to these singles being this high and this hard to grade, I think that's just going to raise and pump the value of the sealed product over time. Problem with this set is there's so much of it out there. But with everything, this should dissipate, and there's just such a demand, and there's such a nostalgia, and the checklist is so good. To me, there's a lot of positive signs. Every card here got 10s, and 10s were easy to get with these Ghost Rares. Nobody's going to care about them anymore. The fact that it's hard means folks are actually going to want that chase. Until next time, hope you enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube signing out.